Welcome to Always Dolls and thanks for joining us. Today we craft our dolls items inspired by American Girl's new juice bar playset. See how to make a juice machine with separating parts and a fun interactive element. Make fun, fresh, healthy drinks for your dolls and DIY your own planter of wheatgrass. If you enjoy our crafting videos, we'd love it if you hit the like button and subscribe to support our channel. Our dolls are ready to order, so let's get making! To get started, we rummaged through all our mini plastic containers, lids, caps and bottles to replicate the different parts of the juicer seen in AG's promotional pictures. We need the juicer body, bowl, chopper, lid and feeder. We selected this Wrigley's Extra Gum container for the base. It has a similar tapered shape and a recess area at the bottom. We just need to cut the container down in size, then spray paint it yellow. Then close the opening with a scrap of foam board cut to fit. The dial is just circles of paperboard stacked together for dimension then adhered to the side of the juicer. Next, we took a clear medicine cup for the bowl since it already has volume markings etched into the plastic. The bowl is too wide to fit into the recess of our gum container, so we made a stand from the neck of a mini message bottle. Now the bowl can slot inside the gap. From a jumbo straw, cut a short segment with an angled end. Glue this to the side of the bowl for the spout. To mimic the feeder element of the machine, take the pump from a small spray bottle. Remove the straw and cut down the screw cap area. Paint the pump piece silver. Now for a lid. We matched our medicine cup with the plastic lid from this Daiso condiment set. The plastic is thin, so you can easily make a hole in the centre and gently widen it with a pencil or paintbrush handle until it is big enough to fit the pump piece. Connect the two parts with a strong glue like Uhu or E6000. The bowl and lid fit together perfectly. Now to craft the chopping blades. In previous crafts, we have removed the top from these mini bottles to make doll sized jars of jam and relish. I still have them in my stash, so adhered two together, then painted it yellow to match AG's version. Again, Use a strong glue intended for connecting plastic to attach the chopper to the underside of the lid. Our juicer bowl needs a handle. For this, we took the thick plastic cap from a mini crafting jar, cut it in half, then trimmed out the plastic center to get a C-shaped piece. Affix the handle to the bowl, ensuring it sits lower than the rim of your lid. Great! All the elements of the juicer are done. You can also push down on the pump to create an interactive element. But let's go further and make some drinks. Easy to purchase communion cups are the perfect size for 18 inch dolls. To make a lid, trace the opening onto paperboard three times and cut out. Find the centre point, then punch a hole. We used a smaller brad punch for this step. Repeat for all the cutouts, then glue them together. Wrap a thin strip of computer paper around the perimeter of the circle to form the lip of the cap. The straw is just a piece of barbecue skewer cut down to size. Paint your lid green to match AG's drinks or any colour you'd like. Next, we screenshot a promo picture to get the Local Bean logo for our drink. The image was scaled to match our smallest circle punch. Glue the logo to the front of the cup. We used resin and food dye to make the healthy fruit and veggie juices, but you can use Alma's school glue instead for a similar result. Click the card top right to see how. Here we recycled a McDonald's condiment container and painted it light blue for our planter box. Fill the container with a generous pinch of air dry clay. This is Model Magic brand in the colour Bisque. For wheat grass blades, take florist wire and hot glue. Coat the wire with glue 
and whilst still hot, lay a sheet of wax paper over the top and roll the glue flat. When the glue has cooled and hardened, trim your leaves to make the sides slimmer like real wheatgrass blades. Make more leaves and paint them green. Because the stem is wire, you can manipulate the leaf to look more organic. Arrange the blades inside the planter, pushing the wire into the clay. The clay will eventually dry out and hold your leaves in place. Have fun making your dolls a juice machine. And if you'd like to keep crafting, check out our DIY local bean coffee shop where you can store, serve and sell your new healthy drinks. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun.